Hello, this is Dr. Shane. I thank you uh, for joining me here, uh, African American Marriage Counseling. And I want to say, my mother gave me the best advice as a kid. And she told me what would lay the groundwork for the recognition that the biggest mindset shift you can make for your marriage is about to be shared with you. As a kid, she used to always say to me, you know, if all you have in your toolbox is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. If all you have in your toolbox is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And I was always kind of blown away by that, you know. It looks like a nail, it looks like a nail. And I started to realize when I started to work with couples, most couples don't suffer from a lack of will. That's right. Most couples come to see me, may have passed the first visit, actually schedule the appointment and attend. They have the will to make it. A lot of time, they lack the skills. And the biggest mindset shift for you to recognize is, how do I get the skills for us to fix our problems? I'll give you an example, right? So couples will come in and say they can't get on the same page. They can't. They try and talk it out. Words just get in the way. They keep having the same fight over and over again in new clothes because the other person won't listen. So what I realized is when folks are trying to talk, it doesn't occur to them that communication can vary very much from one person to the next. Very much it can vary. So, for, for example, you have three types of processors, three types of processors. That's how people talk about their feelings, how people communicate about their feelings. You have non-processors, processors, and metaprocessors. So I'll talk about non-processors. They will absolutely not talk about their feelings. Either they were told kids are just be seen, not heard. They were somehow taught, you know, no one really cares how you feel. Uh, when they were kids and they did talk about it, it just didn't make a difference. And they recognized I could show you better than I could tell you. Or, or they're just private and silent. And if you are a non-processor, raise your hand right now out there, right? Because you're saying, yeah, that's exactly, I'm just not talking about it. They were always a non-processor. They weren't a processor before and changed. They were always a non-processor. Processors will talk about their feelings, but they're only going to talk about them once. They're only going to talk about them once. So they will discuss it. And if they come home, and I had one woman say to me, well, what if they always come home from work and they want to talk while I'm cooking? I say, it's 10 of time and stop cooking. Well, what do you mean everyone's got to eat? I'm like, but what's the biggest threat to your marriage? Getting that meal out eight minutes later or you two not talking? And she cut it off and they would talk. Actually, it ended up being a half hour. But food would come out a little later, and their marriage got better. So processors will talk about it, but talk about it once. They don't need to revisit it. Metaprocessors will talk about it, and the it is their feelings. They will talk about their feelings and the feelings about their feelings. So they're going to keep going, and the next day they want to revisit it. Meanwhile, the processors, like we already discussed it, I came home from dinner. Thanks for cutting the food off, but we've done it. Or you didn't cut the food off, and we're just not revisiting it. I was ready. Non-processors won't. So the beauty of marriage is people hire the same and marry the opposite. So I'll frequently get metaprocessors with non-processors or processors who talk about it once and they don't feel fulfilled. So I want you to recognize, first of all, if you're out there, which one are you? How many non-processors, type MP in the, in the browser. How many processors, type P. How many metaprocessors? How many metaprocessors? So the next question I ask you, what is your spouse? Are they the same or the opposite? So if they're the same, type in same. If they're the opposite, type in opposite. People hire the same and marry the opposite. So anyways... I want you to really recognize those differences aren't personal. They're just baked in the cake of who we are. A non-processor was always a non-processor. A metaprocessor was always a metaprocessor. They don't change. Sometimes there could be a continuum 
continuum from non-processor to processor. So it just may depend. But I want you to think about your last fight and think about maybe it wasn't so personal. Maybe it was how they're wired. Non-processors and, and, and processors, they get overwhelmed by metaprocessors. But let's not give the metaprocessors a hard time either. They're just trying to fix the problem. They want to make sure we do and we look at it from every angle. Anyways, enjoy. Think about your most recent conflict and how would it be different if it didn't feel so personal? Because there's a lot of rejection when people don't process stuff like us. Anyways, Dr. Shane, make it a great day. And I will see you on the other side. Bye-bye.